Guys, how's the ride? Oh, not too bad. It's always fun. Still not used to this place. But be, being in uh, outside of New Jersey? Yeah, a little bit different. A little, little different. Still adjusting. But does the job and getting me ready for what I gotta do. towards a sport, we tailor it towards how each athlete moves. So an MMA fighter, you know, such as Mike, is gonna have a, a certain set of skills that he has and he's able to utilize, and we're gonna capitalize on, on what his strengths are, and we're also gonna improve his weaknesses. And what I mean weaknesses, I mean how he turns muscles on and off. Can he do that at velocity? Can he do it in the correct position? And then can he do it over and over and over again? So those are the things we're always trying to work on in here. And then we, we put in the, the emotional, we'll, we'll make it a battle for them. And, uh, and when you can do that in extreme situations, there's a great transfer to any sport. Uh, I'll be fighting Brian Stan on August 1st. And by far, this is going to be the most important fight of my career. And probably one of the biggest tests of my life. It's going to really, you know, this is it, you know. It, you know Win and I'm in, you know, you know, take another loss could could possibly be potential at the end of my, you know, UFC career and I might even, I don't even think of it like that, you know. Brian Stan's a great competitor, you know, top athlete, top fighter in the world and you know, just one step at a time and just gonna give it everything I got. Yeah, you know, it's been really tough, you know, coming up and I felt like I was at the top of my game and everything was going well and next thing you know, you know, I felt I hit a bump in the road, just couldn't couldn't get myself back on top and every time I felt like I was getting a couple steps ahead and getting knocked back down, but it definitely, you know, made me maybe maybe want it more, get that hunger and you know, really testing my will and the desire of how bad I really want to do it, you know. I mean it's frustrating. I mean when we when we first started working with Mike, obviously things were going pretty good. He got into the UFC, you know, he had a big win against Drew McFadries and you know, he, he was on top of the world. He was on uh, you know, a main card against C B Dalloway and you know, to have those injuries, um, you know, it's been, you know, frustrating. My wife is very supportive. We have a six-month-old, you know, I have a daughter now, and, you know, she's the inspiration of my life. You know, she really, every day that I, you know, I, I want to give up sometimes, and every day that I feel like it's a little bit too much, you know, I look at her, and I wake up, and I see her, and, you know, I see that little smile looking at me, and, you know, it makes me, makes me want it even more, you know? Uh, you know, it crossed my mind, you know, maybe, maybe this is the end, maybe this is just, you know, it's been too much, but... You know, it, it, for big rewards, you know, it takes big risks, and you got to really, you know, dig down deep. And you know, I coach wrestling, and I tell my kids all the time, you know, if it was easy, everybody would do it. And you know, for it, it, it makes it worth it even better in the end. Uh, today we're going to test uh, <laughs> his intestinal fortitude a little bit. We're going to push him, trying to put him in uh, situations where it's going to challenge him emotionally, physically, mentally, um, and see how he responds to that. So by the time he steps in the cage, it's just going to be like a laugh, a walk in the park.
uh, gonna be up here about six weeks left six weeks left in the camp and just training here with these guys you know best way to put it is you know you gotta I gotta put myself around people that want to accomplish the same thing as me and uh, I'm just completely taking myself out of my element you know surrounding myself around the best things I possibly can and just gearing for this fight you know he's always had a training camp but a true training camp where he can focus on things and just you know get away from you know the things he was exposed uh, to before and and, and uh, you know everything worked before it was just too much on his plate and you know we're, we're doing things a little bit different with the with the strength and conditioning um, you know we brought in uh, want to get fast and you know they've done great things with with some of our other guys and and uh, you know we're, he's working with a different boxing coach um, you know our team boxing coach he's been with us for a couple of years now and he's he's done wonders you know with some of our guys and you know it's just a totally different system well, it's definitely different than Jersey, definitely totally different atmosphere, but it definitely, you know, it fits its purpose, you know, it pretty much gives me nothing to do and just worry about training and focusing on Brian Stan, you know, he's in my way and, you know, I got to get him out of there and just, just thinking about fighting and training, fighting and training, that's all I think about, you know, I, I, I eat and sleep training and, and, you know, eat and sleep Brian Stan, that's it, he's on my mind 24 hours a day, you know, seven days a week. You know, we're kind of taking that blueprint, you know, Phil Davis used with uh, Stan, and you know, we're going to try to duplicate that. So, uh, you know, that's that's kind of our game plan going in. You know, it's no secret. I'm sure they've seen tapes of of Mike, and he's got some some fights on on YouTube. So, um, you know, they're going to see you know him going out there, setting up his shots, and taking taking uh, taking guys down. Uh, my game plan is just pretty much going to be, you know, pretty much, you know. He's weak on his takedowns, just going to be looking to take him down. And, you know, obviously his last fight against Phil Davis, he pretty much opened him up and really showed that, you know, his takedown defense isn't there. And just working a lot and taking him down and working from there. Look to sub him out. He's really concentrating on this one and he needs it. So you're going to see probably the best Mike Masenzio. He's backed into a corner here and, and uh, he's going to have to perform. I'm not arrogant. I'm not, you know, full of myself. I, I, I want to go out there and, and you know, do it for myself, do it for my family. You know, I do it for everybody. You know, kids that were told they can't do something in life. I want to let people know that nothing's impossible. They will remember Master or Disaster. We're going with that nickname? Is that, your, is that the name? Yeah. Went, yeah. Man. Master of Disaster? Master of Disaster. Nice. Did you come up with that, Ryan? <laughs> uh, well, we came up with some some other ones. Nothing really rhymes with Asensio. Right. Master disaster. <laughs>